Hello, Ani, and welcome to the iPad Applications Online tutorial all about geometry applications. There are a lot of applications for geometry in the App Store, but I've only downloaded free ones, and I've downloaded ones that represent a, a breadth of uh, levels in terms of grade levels. So, um, however, feel free to peruse all of the other apps out there. These are simply some to get you started. Uh, let's start with the youngest or most accessible apps. Uh, the GeoBoard here is much like an actual GeoBoard. So we'll tap on this. And as you can see, you can put um, virtual rubber bands and uh, make shapes. I've noticed in using this that sometimes it's a little frustrating to get it in the sweet spot. So even for young, young students, they may have to take a bit of time to get acquainted with how to use it. All right, just as a heads up. Oops. But this sure beats getting slapped by actual rubber bands, if that's not your thing. Uh, you can select a shape and fill it in. So when I press this button down here, it turned it into a solid, so the student can see the more definable shape. Over here, I can select back to um, a geo, uh, oh, sorry, by, by dragging, a geo board with fewer points of contact here. So I can, uh, that's the more traditional geo board you may have been used to in elementary school yourself. And uh, again, filling in those shapes with the solid. Okay. So there's some geo boards there. We can delete and start fresh um, by pressing the little trash can button. So that's the geo board. Uh, however, as, of course, if your students have never used a geo board for the first time, um, you may want to start with showing them an actual geo board so that they understand the concept. Um, these sorts of things, um, although they're great technology, I, I think sometimes there's nothing like the real thing. So perhaps a real geo board would be a good way to go. And we're just having some focus issues with the webcam, so I apologize if this is frustrating to watch at times. We'll try to refocus it. There we go. It seems to work if I put my finger up to it and then uh, li lead the focus back back to the, uh, the iPad uh, service. All right, the next one we'll tell you about today is uh, Geometry++. It's kind of like a game, actually, involving tangrams. Uh, you'll notice I don't have any tangrams apps um, here. There are so many of them out there. Take your pick. They're amazing, a lot of free ones. Um, so we'll just skip on to other things. OK, this is a game involving tangrams. So it shows you a shape. I'll just skip the instructions, because I'll explain it to you myself. It shows you a shape to make and provides you with some, some uh, shapes to make them. So you drag them up. Great little game for spatial awareness for young students. So this might be good for um, if a student has finished a, a, an activity early and they're looking for some, some enhanced um, uh, learning opportunities, this might be a good app to, to get them to, uh, to use. All right, let's exit out of there. So that was the game Geometry++. We covered GeoBoard. And the last app I'm going to show you is this app here because um, this geometry pad app will take me a long time to explain. It's a very advanced app. So please do check out part two of the uh, geometry iPad applications online tutorials. Well, without further ado, let's get into this app. This is for volume. And uh, it's actually, um, it models the Khan Academy um, format of, of basically virtual lessons, pre-recorded lessons with animation. So let's look at volume of... Oops. Uh, let's look at volume of a cylinder, for example. In this lesson, we will learn about the volume of a cylinder. Let's start. Consider this circle with a radius r. By now, we should already know that the area a of this circle is pi r square. Next, let's change this circle into a cylinder. After doing so, the cylinder has the radius r and the height h. Now, to find the volume of the cylinder, v, we just multiply the area, a, with the height, h. Hence, we multiply pi r square with h. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very, um, uh, 
I guess it's a good app for students who may need to see some animation and also who might need further explanations outside of the um, uh, the teacher's instruction for certain concepts. Some of these concepts students might get right away, but for other students they may need a, f a few more explanations that a teacher just simply does not have time to provide to the fullest. So an app like this would be really great to free up that teacher to um, send them with an iPad, check in, see if um, another explanation with the iPad has, has worked, and uh, going from there. You know your students best, so I'm sure you uh, are thinking of some students right now that might benefit from this, um, but perhaps not all of them. So um, it's just great to have these resources on hand uh, in case they're needed. And of course, as you saw in the table of contents, there's um, explanations for all of the different uh, 3D shapes. Well, that concludes part one. Please do visit um, part two of the um, iPad applications for geometry. Thank you for joining me.